Hujratul Akli, the dining room. Hujra means room. Al Akl means food. So we say room of food. But that is not correct in English. So instead of saying room of food, we say the dining room. In this course, we'll be discussing comprehension passage in Arabic and we'll be looking at some grammatical analysis along the way. Any grammatical analysis you seem not to understand, you refer back to our Lain Arabic grammar in 20 days. All have been explained there. Ana adkhulu. I enter. Ana means I. I will say I am. But here we translate it as I. Ana adkhulu. I enter. So if you don't want to put Ana adkhulu, you can say adkhulu, which means I enter. Adkhulu there is al fa'ilu al mudari' which is present tense. It can also indicate a present continuous tense, which means I can say, I am entering. Ana adkhulu, I am entering. Ana ajlisu, I am sitting, or I sit. Ana akra'u, I am reading. Ana anamu, I am sleeping. Ana al'abu, I am playing. Ana adhabu, I am going. Hujrat al akli the dining room, you can see hujrata as fatha because it is the object which is maf'unlun bihi, the direct object in this sentence. So al akli is the mudafi ilayhi because it has kasra. If you separate the two words hujratul akli, it becomes room of food. So there's off between the two nouns. Any two nouns that has off between them is referred to as al idafa so the first noun will be mudaf so hujra here is mudaf al aqli is mudaf in ilayhi and mudaf in ali ilayhi must have kasra ana adkhulu hujrat al aqli thalath marrat three times i can say four times arba'a marrat five times khamsa Maratin six times, Sita Maratin seven times will be Sabar Maratin eight times, Famania Maratin, and the rest like that. Filiaumi in the day, I say every day. Fi is harful jarri, which is a preposition that gives the noun that follows it, Kesra. So Al Yawm, the as Kesra because of Fi. So, al is ismun majroorun. Ismun is a noun. Majroorun means genitive, which is given kasra. Marratan fi sabah. Once in the morning. Once in the morning. As sabah means morning. وَأُخْرَى فِي الظُّهُرِ And another time فِي الظُّهُرِ In the afternoon وَالثَّالِثَةَ And the third time وَالثَّالِثَةَ And the third time What if I want to say and the second time You say وَالثَّالِيَةَ What about if I want to say and the fourth time, وَالْرَابِعَةَ The fifth time, وَالْخَامِسَةَ The sixth time, وَالسَّادِسَةَ The seventh time, وَالسَّابِعَةَ The eighth time, وَالثَّامِنَةَ وَمَا أَجْبَهَ ذَلِكَ And things like that. فِي الْمَسَاءَ In the evening. وَأَجْلِسُ فِيهَا and I sit. So, ajlisu here indicates present action. But it can also mean in other time when we use it, present continuous action. So, ajlisu can translate as 
I sit, which means I sit always, regularly. Or I am sitting. وَأَجِلِ سُفِيهَا And I sit in it. So the fiha is referring to the room. The room is hujra, which is feminine, mu'annaf. So we use fiha for it, in it. If it is masculine, for example, bait. Bait is masculine. We say fihi in it. وَأَجِلِسُ فِيهَا عَلَى الْمَائِدَةِ And I sit in it. عَلَى الْمَائِدَةِ On the dining table. Al-ma'ida here means dining table. Another word for table is tawila. Tawila means a table. What about a desk, which is a table used in the school? We say maktab. Wa ara and I see min hawli around me. I can say around you min hawlika. Around him, min hawlihi. Around her, min hawliha. Wa ara min hawli, and I see around me, Abi, my father, wa ummi, my mother, wa ikhwati, and my brother. What about my sister? My sister is... Wa ukhti, what about my uncle? Wa ammi, that's my aunt, my the wa there is aunt. What about my grandfather? Jaddi, what about my grandmother? Jaddati, what about my child? Tifli, wa ma ashbah dhalik. قد قد استفوا they add قد استفوا they add gathered or they add lined up so the قد here is indicating a past participle either have or add or has قد استفوا they have gathered or they have lined up or they have lined حول around المائدة the dining table حول المائدة around the dining table وعلى هذه المائدة and on this dining table so the ala here is a preposition we call it حرف الجري it gives the noun that follows it كسرة so هذه is هذه forever so هذه does not change either ala comes before it or it does not come before it but the noun after hadhi is al-ma'ida. So the ala affects the adhi, it also affects al-ma'ida. So al-ma'ida as kasra because of the ala which comes before the adhi. Wa ala al-ma'idati wa ala hadhi al-ma'idati. And on this dining table, ara, I see. What if I want to say you see? I say tera. So I change the alif to ta. Or I say it sees. I change the alif to ya. I say yara. Mifrashan tablecloth. So don't forget here that mifrashan as fatha because it is maf'ulun bihi, which is the object. Mifrashan nadifan, a clean tablecloth. Nadif here is the adjective to mifrash. It is sifa, which is the adjective that qualifies me. And in our lame Arabic grammar in 20 days, we have learned adjective. Please refer back to it. Adjective should have the same case with the noun which is qualifying. So me freshman here is, is accusative, which is nosbun. So nadib, which is the adjective, will also be accusative. You got t here covering it or the covers it. I see a clean cloth covering it. Covering what? The dining table. That is why we use you got three ha. The ha there is referring to al ma'ida. So ha is feminine. So al ma'ida is also feminine. You got three ha covering it. Wa ara al atbaq. And I see 
dishes atbaq means dishes wal malaiq and spoons wal shawkat and forks wal food and napkins qad wuzzi'at wuzzi'a is the verb wuzzi'a becomes a passive verb the verb wuzzi'a is um is um active verb we know the subject wuzzi'a but wuzzi'a becomes the passive verb so wuzzi'a means without the, the 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 subject will not be brought so qad wuzzi'at has been distributed amama kulli fardin in front of everybody amama kulli fardin in front of everyone min al jalisin sitting so min al jalisin is from those sitting from those sitting min al jalisin mina is from al jalisin means those sitting that's the plural of jalis wa bi hujrat at ta'am and in the dining room or at the dining room ara suwaran i see pictures li anwa' al fawakih of different fruits wa bi hujrat at ta'am and in the dining room or at the dining room i ra i see suwaran so suwaran is maf'ul bihi so it asfat ha li anwa'i li is there is for anwa'i so li is lam al mulk that's lam of possession so it also gives what follows it kasra li anwa'i al fawakih for different fruits but we don't translate it as that we say of different fruits let's look at these questions this will be your task Aina tatanawalu at-ta'am. I'm going to answer just two questions. Then the rest of the questions, you answer them yourself. You go through the passage all over, all over, all over. And then you should be able to answer the questions yourself. Aina tatanawalu at-ta'am. Where do you take food? Where do you take food? So, assuming you are the one in the passage, where do you take food? The answer is atanawalu. So, you can see. The, the question is tatanawalu. Now, if I want to answer the question, I say atanawalu, which means I'm referring to myself now. So the first time we change to alif. Atanawalu ta'am. I take food fi hujratil akli in the dining room. Atanawalu ta'am. I take food fi hujratil akli in the dining room. Bima tatanawalu ta'am. With what do you take food? With what do you take food? The answer is atanawalu ta'am bil atbaq wal malabiq wal shawkat. I take food with the dishes and the spoons and the forks. So answer this yourself. Kam marratan tadkhulu fi hujrat al aqli kulla yawmin? How many times do you enter the dining room every day? على أي شيء يوضع الأكل؟ On what is the food placed? على أي شيء on which thing and on what is the food placed? So you refer back to the passage and you will learn more. Let's look at the al-mufradat, which is the vocabulary that's important word for us to learn. أدخل means I enter or I'm entering, gotten from the verb دخل he entered. يجلس means he's sitting or he sits. Got it from the verb jalasa. Ara means I see, I'm seeing. Got it from the verb ra'a. Istafu means line, the line. Got it from the verb istafa, a line up. So the first one is plural, second one is for singular. What's the R means prepared, something distributed, sorry. Got it from the verb what's the R? E distributed what's the is it has been distributed something is distributed what the arm is it distributed let's look at singular dual and plural of some words we have tobacco tobacco means a dish tobacco means two dishes at means dishes that's plural three and above 
Mil'akun means or Mil'akatun. Mil'akani means two spoons. Mala'iq means three spoons and above. So instead of having Mil'akun here, we have it's supposed to be Mil'akatun. Mil'akatun, Mil'akatani, Mala'iq. Shawkatun, Shawkatani, Shawkat. Jalisun, someone who sit. Jalisani, the two persons who are sitting. Jalisun, three or more persons who are sitting. And that's for masculine. Let's look at this. Jalasa is, means a sat. What about if I want to turn into active participle, which is the subject, it becomes Jalisun, so the one who is sitting. So I can form the active participle or the subject from a verb. Kataba is the person who he, who, uh, sorry, Kataba means he wrote. So to form the active participle, it becomes Kaatibun, which means the writer. I can say Ante Kaatibun, you are the writer. Darasa means he studied. Darasa is he studied. Darison means someone who is studying. And we can say that person is a student. So Darison means a student. Fataha means he opened. Fatihon means the opener. Fatihon, the opener. So that's somebody who opens. Shukran Jazilan. Thank you so much. We meet in the next class.